Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today we have for you a 2004 IS 300. So it would have been the very, very last of the IS uh, 200 and 300 series. Um, the IS 300 was the absolute top of the range, about 100,000, maybe a touch over. Um, it's got the three litre straight six, which with incredible power, yet, you know, very good fuel consumption. So basically it came with a sunroof, leather electric seats, a five-speed automatic. The IS200 only came in a four-speed automatic. You've got heated seats, traction control. They've got a, a really nice um, dash system, or a cluster, I should say, there. Uh, I think it was designed to, be, to look like a Swiss watch, and they did a very good job of it. Um, because these did look so good when they came out, you know, until this day, they still look like fantastic cars, and it certainly doesn't look like it's 10 years old. It's charcoal with black leather interior, and it's got like a, a nice piping around the seat here. It's got dual airbags, side airbags, it's got Lexus mats, three keys, a full uh, Lexus service history from start to finish, except for the very last service. Looks like it's got the original plates on it, and yeah, no, they really are nice cars. The IS300 sounds fantastic as well. Just open the boot there with the remote key. Under here you've got your first aid kit, your valet pack, all the tools are there. The spare wheel is under that as well. You've got rear parking sensors. As I mentioned earlier, the three litre straight six was easily the pick of the engines when it comes to Lexus with nearly 200 kilowatts of power, um, yet being obviously the fuel consumption of a six cylinder, it really was great. The IS200 was a, a nice car, but unfortunately two litre six cylinder engines just don't work. You're better off having a two litre four cylinder engine. You may have noticed the BMW 320 is now a four cylinder. And Lexus have now, um, in their smallest series, have an IS250. Um, so the IS300, I do think it's much better. It's got your satellite navigation. Might start it up actually. So you start the car. There's your nav, which has just popped up there, which is great. You go down here, you press enter. That's where we are now. In Marrickville, it's a nice, clear, easy to read display. There is a sunroof. The 300 did come with uh, touch uh, tip shift, paddle shift, whatever you want to call it as well. It does have automatic mirrors which fold in, which is great. Just all those little things, um, which you only really got an S-Class back then. They also, the ice surrounded as far as I know, also had bigger brakes. There's your Xenon headlamps. It's got uh, driving lights as well down the bottom. Basically, it comes with everything you could get at the time. So if you are looking for a reliable four-door car for getting around town with a bit of power, yet, you know, isn't going to hurt you in terms of fuel consumption. The Lexuses are very reliable cars indeed. The last two I personally had, I did over 400,000 kilometres in with no issues whatsoever. And to my knowledge, they're both still getting around. So yeah, give us a call. We're the old time centre. We're located in Marrickville. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from